Hi there, it's Chris Saunders from um, Imagination Crafts Design Team and I did promise you that I would show you how um, to create this effect on your background papers. I uh, did a project last time showing you um, this little project with the clouds in the background and the Imagination Crafts stencils and stamps and I did promise I would show you how to do this kind of effect. And what I've done, I've taped some of the Imagination Crafts cardstock just down onto my mat and put a little tiny dab of white acrylic paint up here. This is artist acrylic paint, any acrylic paint will do. Um, and what I'm going to show you is how to create these clouds. Very simple, so I'm going to hold the camera in one hand and try and do this with the other. Talk about make life difficult for myself. So all I'm going to do is get a nice round tip brush. Can you see the, the round edge on this brush? It's not a square top and it's not a pointed top, it's a round top and that's what you'll need. So all you do when you've got a dab of paint on your craft mat, or a non-stick craft mat is fine, is I take some paint onto my brush and just push the end in like this and then go onto my cardstock and dab. And I move along, leaving the white edge, and just pull that paint down a little bit. Just keep dabbing and dabbing and dabbing. And that's what will give you the cloud effect. Go back into the paint, and then we'll take another piece and dab again. And where you've dabbed at the top end, if you can see, that gives you the white piece of the cloud. Leave that if you can. I know as painters we do like to fiddle around with our pictures, um, but what I've done now, I've just gone a little bit underneath to create another little piece of some paint, another little piece of white to make the top of that cloud a little bit more distinctive. And I'll just dab, 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 dab on here. And because you've only put the paint on the top of the brush, you can create faded effects. So we'll go back at the end, push the paint onto the brush, and, and now what we'll do is we'll start this end. And we'll come down this way. And that's really all there is to it. To so create your clouds. You have a little experiment if you don't want to ruin your cardstock the first time, you want to have a little try. Have a little try, and you can see there, look. You've got the start of some clouds appearing. You can make them as cloudy or as light as you like. I'll just put one more a little bit further down and then I'll lift up the card and show you what it's like. So you can see it a little bit better. Like I say, because you've only got paint on the top of the brush, you end up getting a, a nice faded effect. There we are. And perhaps one more at the top, just a little one there. Just to make it look a little bit more natural. So that can now start you off with a hobby of doing all sorts of painting. Lovely scenes. I'll be back soon with another tutorial, but have fun, have a go. All you need is a round top brush like this one, some white acrylic paint, a non-stick mat or a glass mat, and a piece of the lovely Imagination Crafts cardstock. I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.